That, but I don't want to immediately say sure because um, people are, have experienced a lot of things already and I'm sure they would be a bit more careful. So we'll just make sure that, that we have the things they want, the things that they need to make sure that it's all ready. Do you see challenges for the industry in general? It's really annoying because it, there's so much, it's really more of a global issue. Right? So that's still happening? Yeah, that's it. That's also going to affect our WFW. What's, what's going on around the world? It's going to affect our WFW. It's going to affect our WFW. I'm very quite positive that the Philippines will somehow find one way or another how to celebrate it. Sir, for next year, are we expecting more branches of the SM opening? Oh, yes, we are continuing with that as it was announced. Here. Although yeah. I have to say it's not my yes, anymore. Yes, sir. But they announced it by 2027 we should hit our 100. A 100 by 2027. And beyond that, sir, more pa. Yes, you know why? A lot of people don't know the real secret about Elvis. We have so many islands. Mm, okay. So we're making it convenient by going to them rather than letting them come over. So the expansion is uh, more concentrated outside Metro outside. Manila? Most of them are outside. What about the uh, international International brands. Expansion. Overseas, well, we are still on a slow new one, just doing like in China. It's just. We were playing by a dollar. It's very, very challenging. As I mentioned in my last interview, that while China is certainly uh, still something that we uh, look forward to, but it's very challenging, very competitive game. It's, it's a like different game. Uh, it's a different uh, okay. board game. Game. So, the expansion in China is slow? Uh, well, it's just like when we were in the Philippines, when we started, we won 19. We started with the first wall, then the second was 1998, then the third one was 1990, then the fourth, 1992, and so on. Now and we're doing all. Uh, we just have to make sure we're financially also very strong. This, sir, um, political um, uh, turmoil is included in the challenges. You know what? I have actually met investors and explained to them. I have shown them the political uh, chart of the Philippines up and down and down. And then I superimpose our growth, it goes straight up. What I was I trying to tell our investors? That as long as you don't uh, join the politics, you won't be affected. Philippine, China, Philippine. Uh -huh. The geopolitical. The geopolitical tension. is something to uh, But as we were always saying about it, I'm sure humans, they do understand what is the consequences. And I'm sure they've seen what's going on with Ukraine and Russia, with uh, the Israel, uh, with, uh, with Gaza, with, uh, the Palestinians. So I'm sure we, are, we would be more careful. But not we, everyone. You talk about two, a lot of investors, okay, but how, do you, how, do they, how do you present the Philippines? How do they perceive the Philippines? We use our numbers. We always tell them, look, look at the facts. When you hear a lot of things about what's going on, these are our numbers. Uh, so, whether it be the retail, whether it be the mall, whether it be the banking, our numbers are very, very, very consistent. So, as long as you see the technical and also. I have to also give some credit to my team. We work very hard. Yes. You don't see us really just going and doing our own. When we go to the mall, sometimes people will say, napakas na naman ito. But in real, in real, our eyes are always just keeping up of the work. This year, okay, President Claudio mentioned about the battery funds in Cortinas. How will this pay out for us? No, it's a very positive, very welcome thing. Uh, only, of course, the hesitation there is, let's see. I just hope they can make it very easy and simple. Although, if you go to countries like Japan, outright, you uh, need a uh, discount uh, there as long as you show your passport. So, I hope we can do that. I hope it won't be like 
still a challenge because that's going to really make the uh, uh, arena really very really, really competitive. And that's what I was saying about China. China, they're very advanced in technology. In fact, it is true. They hardly see paper bills already in China. Mm. Bitcoin. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm not at all. I don't have, I don't have the your phone, your WeChat number, so I have to pay cash for it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Congratulations again. 